Okay, so for this example, what we're trying to do is find the um, stretch in each of the springs that's required to hold this weight as shown in the diagram. This is very similar to the other problems that you see with three-dimensional equilibrium, except with the added uh, component of having the springs. Also, it's a little bit difficult when you look at this one because you feel like if the strings, springs stretch, the point O will move. And so you have to view this problem as if you have to pull the springs, the stretching of the strings pulls it into the position shown. So let's start out with what we know. First of all, when we have springs, we, have, we know the force in a spring, F in a spring, equals the spring tonsense times its stretch or its displacement. So in a typical three-dimensional statics problem like this, we're solving for forces. Once we get those forces, we can just apply the spring constant, or we can find that the displacement or the stretch in the spring is equal to the force in the spring divided by the spring constant. So that's going to be our approach. So if we look at this carefully, we have the force in spring B is equal to the spring constant of B times displacement of B. But since the spring constant in both of these, for both of the springs is the same, I can just say this is K times UB. The force in spring A is equal to K times UA. Okay? So that's the first part of it. I also know that the vector, I want to represent each vector F a, F, B, and F, C. So I can say F, A is equal to, the vector F, A is F, A directed in the negative Y. So that's negative F, A in the J direction. And we can say F, B is equal to F, B in the negative I direction. So I'll be able to set these equal to what I have up above here. Okay. I know that FC is a vector, is going from O to, um, to point C, so that's the magnitude of FC times a unit vector from O to C. In order to get that, what I need to do is I need to find the, ve the position vector OC. So OC will be 4i plus 6j plus 12 K. Okay, so the unit, so that's it, vector. The magnitude of OC is going to be the square root of 4 squared plus 6 squared plus 12 squared, and that turns out to be 14. And these are all, OC is in meters, so this will be in meters. So the unit vector OC will be. 4 over 14i plus 6 over 14j plus 12 over 14k meters. So Fc, the vector, is equal to the magnitude of Fc times 4 over 14i plus 6 over 14j plus 12 over 14k meters. So now I can apply my equations of equilibrium. I have sum of the forces in the x direction have to equal 0, and I take the components of each of these, of FA, FB, the weight, and FC, take the x component of each one of those, set that equal to 0. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have um, minus FB plus FC times 4 fourteenths. equals 
zero. Okay, therefore, FB equals four fourteenths of FC. Okay. Next, I can take the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero equals minus FA plus FC times 6 over 14 okay and that equals 0 so that tells me that FA is equal to 6 over 14 FC and then I have the sum of the forces in the z direction equals 0 and that gives me um, the springs don't have any z component only the weight and the c so I get 12 over 14 FC minus 20 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared and that has to equal 0 okay so now I look at my three equations. I have three equations. I have three unknowns, FA, FB, and FC. And it looks like from the third one, I can go ahead and solve for FC. So if I take the third one, I solve that for FC. And what I get is FC is equal to 20 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times 14 over 12 and that gives me 228.9 kilonewtons and what I can do then is take that and plug that back into these two equations and get FA and FB so let's go ahead and do that FA is equal to 6 over 14 FC is 6 over 14 times 228.9 kilonewtons and that gives me 98.1 kilonewtons FB is equal to 4 over 14 F 4 over 14 F sub C and that gives us 4 over 14 times 228.9 kilonewtons and that results in 65.4 kilonewtons so now we just go back to our original equation up here we know FA and FB and we can solve for um, the displacements UA and UB knowing that K is 300 newtons per meters let's go ahead and do that so we have <coughs> FA is equal to K times UA. So UA equals FA divided by K, which is equal to 98.1 kilonewtons divided by 300 newtons per meter. All right? And I just realized that all my units up here should be newtons, not kilonewtons, because a kilogram meter per second squared is a newton, not a kilonewton. So these are newtons. Okay, so this should just be a newton. And when I put the equation in there, I get 98.1 divided by 300 is 0 0.327 meters. FB is equal to K times UB. Therefore, UB is FB divided by K is 65.4 newtons divided by 300, 300 newtons per meter, and that gives 0 0.218 meters. So there's our two answers. And we're done.